what's going on everybody uh, real estate informed Kevin here uh, we are on site right now we are taking photos for a listing that's coming up um, and right now I decided I've taken a couple I've taken a break uh, from shooting videos and whatnot cuz just uh, lots of business life got busy um, and I kind of want to take my channel like in a different direction. I think a lot of people when I, when I stand in front of the camera and I and I speak, um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of uh, other real estateers out there or a lot of real estate videos out there they do pretty much the same thing. Any article on CNBC, any article on Yahoo that comes up about real estate, they just basically read it, memorize it, and then spit out a video about it. And you know. I, I don't do that, but I feel like I get categorized into that category. Uh, my whole motive behind this channel is to give you the real life, you know, what's going on in the real estate industry with people, you know, who have their feet on the ground, you know, experiencing it every day. And me as a real estate, you know, um, you know, on, on my channel, you'll see um, listings, um, me working with buyers, me working with sellers, you'll see property management, you'll see flips, um, you'll see turnover, you'll see, you'll see a lot of things that, that, that we do. So, um, and hopefully to add to that is development. That's like a, you know, a goal of mine. So, um, you'll see a, a bunch of that. So, um, when you see it, like with someone firsthand, I feel like that'll maybe, you know, add, to it maybe give it some more reality versus all these you know me kevin and i forgot the other guy's name and where they just sit in front of a computer and tell you exactly what real estate is doing and they themselves are real estate agents but they haven't worked as agents because they have so many followers that they don't have to sell a house like last time me kevin sold a house was probably years ago and rightfully so he doesn't have to because he has so many followers and whatnot but this is you know this is a different perspective this is kind of like a vlog style um, so um, I don't really know how I'm gonna do it I don't know if I'll maybe put up a vlog once a week how many clips I get it'll get repetitive I don't know but I just want to give you like a you know my you know I'm in the Seattle market one of the hottest real estate markets you know there is so when you're in a market like this you can i feel like it kind of gauges what other real estate markets will do even the slower ones so in my personal opinion i feel like if i could give you a first-hand perspective of the seattle king and pierce county areas what's going on in these two counties and i can list the house tell you how many you know showings we got tell you um you know on this house in this price range we got these many showings this um house in this price range we got these many showings you're not going to get a cnbc article to tell you that you know what i mean uh cnbc is still reporting news from march and it's still saying that the housing market is hot uh that's just not the case so i just want to give you like a real down to earth of what's really happening in the market by an agent who's actually listing properties actually out in the field and I and I not just stand in front of a camera and tell you that I'll show it to you you know what I mean so I don't really know how to do these vlog style you know videos but I'll try my best um, so we're gonna do some I'll show you some footage of the um, drone that we take up to get the drone shots I'll show you some footage of the my cameraman people uh, out here taking photos So right now we got the drone guy out there. He's doing his drone. It's right up there if you can see it. And then on the inside, we are taking photos. So one thing I wanted to point out about this home is that, here if I turn it around, so this is the house. This is in the Tacoma Hilltop area. It has this shop right here. And most importantly, this detached building that adds $50,000 worth of value, I'll show you real quick. Just so when you're purchasing a home, if you have an outbuilding, if it has garages, bam. 
See these right here? These are what give it about $50,000 more value to the ARV, which is the after repair value uh, to the home. Are those two garages right there. Now, they're not the biggest garages in the world, but they're nonetheless, two cars can fit in there. They have the garage doors. It even has a little shop upstairs from the door that enters that way. Adds about $50,000 worth of value. So if you're looking at rehabs or in basically any city or state, um, that's something you should definitely look at is look at if there's a unfinished garage unfinished space um, and then another thing that you could potentially deal with is if you have more time as a flipper um, is uh, make this an official ADU this one right here there's no water going to it it's got electric but no water so um, that's something you should think about um, hopefully you learned something from this video uh, I guess I'm just trying to like add value to whatever I can um, t uh, as I see things I can explain it to you and see why I do certain things certain ways. And if it adds value, it adds value. So, um, yeah, and please forgive me. I'm new to this blog and stuff. I don't really know uh, exactly what people... Am I supposed to be funny? Am I supposed to be hilarious? Because, uh, you know, I can do that too. You know, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, yeah. Um, all right, and if I see something else that I feel like is of value that you guys should, like, listen to or hear, then uh, I'll put that up too. All right, so just finished up taking uh, photos in here. Uh, photos will be out tomorrow. Uh, they have to be edited and whatnot. Let's turn this around. They got to be edited and whatnot. Um, and we'll get them hopefully tomorrow by noon, before noon. And then we'll list it in the evening since tomorrow's Friday. Essentially, we would like to list it on Thursday. But usually what we do is we list it on Thursday and then we go out and we do Thursday, Friday, um, Saturday, Sunday, and then have an offer review date on either Monday or Tuesday. I love these floors right here. But yeah, we'll either have like an offer review date on uh, Monday or Tuesday. But the market has been so, you know, not great in my opinion um actually i think this is supposed to be over here Ooh, i think this is supposed to be right there i'm not a stage so i have no idea where things go but I, i'm assuming that's where that it looks better over there I'm, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna leave that over there but yeah um so look how beautiful this is that's amazing you got the backsplash tiled up beautiful um so, but the market has slowed down to a point where we really don't have to, um, this is a master bedroom, master bathroom, looking good. We, the, so like, here's something that we could point out. <clears throat> so this is the master bedroom. It's a very small house, 1300 square feet. So this, we, instead of putting open doors, we put sliders in. That's definitely one way to go to save space and then you're saving space but then you have extra space left over and then what do you do you put a walk-in closet in so you got a walk-in closet master bedroom put the sliders in to save space i mean how much better can that get you know you got this was the original closet that this bedroom had because once again, this house is old, 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 50s, 60s build. This was the original closet. Would you rather have that or that walk-in closet over there? That's what I thought. Holla back. But yeah. Um, yeah, so the market has shifted. So usually we would wait like another week to list it on Thursday. But not anymore because the market is more dependent upon, um, you know, these interest rates that are just screaming, you know, going through the roof right now, that the market has slowed down. So whether news outlets are telling you this and that, yada, 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 this is the official third bedroom of the house. Look at that, that's beautiful. I love that steel railing. But, um, yeah, one of the things that you, the market has changed. So you could just list on Friday and just take offers as is. That's how much the market has changed. And then we got the uh, washer dryer. No washer dryers, but the room for it, water heater. But yeah, 
the one thing you want to do is add value is put in a, a, a master bedroom suite older houses don't have that when you add that that adds value second thing that adds value is the walk-in closet third thing is that garage out there so if you can find us even a small house if you can add those things in there it adds a uh, tremendous value and this is just kind of like the entryway of the house it's actually very beautiful all right so i mean Photos are done. We should look at this. Look at this wall right here. Accent wall, tiled up, beautiful, stunning, amazing. So, um, oh, and then we got the fireplace, electric fireplace. I love those. Those look so good. I love that hood right there. Beautiful. All right. Well, I'll give you guys the stats. Like, I guess this vlog style videos that we're trying to shoot now. You know, I guess it's more towards, okay, so you guys see the house, you saw we took photos of, you saw the drone outside. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna post this and then, you know, I'll tell you how long it takes to get an offer. I'll keep you guys updated on, you know, the industry as a whole, like a 1300 square foot, 1300 something square foot, three bedroom, two bath house in Hilltop area of Tacoma. How fast does this sell? You know what I mean? Um, you can even tell right here, I'll even show you right here. Is the hospital the water is down that way UW uh, Tacoma is down that way it's actually a very very nice neighborhood um, so yeah so this is just kind of me giving you guys updates on various houses now I think I don't know how long this vlog is gonna go I don't know how many clips I'm gonna take out so I have other things I have to do today I might put that in a different vlog so if you see me wearing the same shirt it's stuff that's off on the same day but we just kind of split it up because you know just this might take a be a 10 minute video so I don't know so um, I'll try to make these clips shorter and shorter so I, you know you guys can get you know a, a better feel for it but tell me how you like like this staging I don't know why but I love this staging it's beautiful stunning all right so now we're going to go over to a rental property and we're doing a rental clean out and I'll give you guys like the before and after of that, um, you know, what I, uh, what I like to do with these rental units. So, yeah. <music>